The Buddha says that we're born into this world and we're subject to five kinds of loss. We can lose our health, we can lose our wealth, we can lose our relatives, we can lose our right views, and we can lose our virtue. Of those five, he says only two kinds of loss are really serious. Losing your virtue, losing your right views. You can lose the other things, and he said, it doesn't take you down to hell. And you usually get those things back. Think about how many times you've been born, and how many times you've had different mothers, different fathers, brothers, sisters, sons, daughters. The Buddha said it would be hard to meet someone who hasn't been one of your relatives in that way. So these things keep coming back, coming back. The same with your health. You lose this body, you get another body. Same with wealth. Wealth comes, wealth goes, goes again, comes again. It doesn't have to mean a really bad impact on the mind. But those are the things that people in the world fear the most. And the Buddha says that they've got it backwards. The things you really have to fear are losing your right view, losing your virtue. Because if you lose your right view, you start doing things that are unskillful. And those can have an impact for a long, long time, not only in this lifetime, but on and on and on into the future. Fortunately, these are things that you lose only when you abandon them yourself. No one else can take them away from you. You have your right view, you have your virtue, and nobody can steal these things. They become part of the mind itself. Someone once asked a John Munn if you can distinguish between a mind of a person and the person's virtue. And John Munn said, no, you can't. If you could, people would probably steal your virtue, like they can steal other things. But it's part of the mind itself. So make sure you maintain the things whose loss would actually be serious. As for the other things, learn to accept that as a fact you chose to come into this world. Nobody invited you. Nobody forced you to come. It was just the force of your own craving, your own clinging. And these are parts of the world itself, the gain and loss, gain and loss again and again. If we learn how to deal with those kinds of gains and those kinds of losses in the right way, we can gain benefit from them. When you're having a period of gain, you learn how to use those things well to develop the qualities, good qualities of the mind. When you lose them, you start seeing, well, who, is, who are your real friends? What can you really depend on? So learn from the gain, learn from the loss of those other things, but for your virtue and your right view, do your best to maintain them. Hold on to them tight. People may say you're attached. Well, it's a good attachment. We see other people throwing away their virtue, throwing away their right view so easily. So make that a more motivation to make sure that you don't throw these things away, that you maintain them as best you can.